Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into some more of my babies, our Mahalima, our boys of SB19, as I believe they're still referred to right now. We'll see what happens with the naming. Um, but on my last reaction that I did to their music video for Freedom, I asked you guys... For your opinions on a couple things and then i put a poll over on the community tab of my channel one of the things being um when i get around to doing the script for my ranking of sb19's uh performances on the wish bus should i include their solo performances that you know some of the members have done or should i just keep it as their group performances and the majority of people said to include their solo performances so right now i'm catching up on some of the solo performances that i have yet to um react to so we're gonna dive into Philippe um, performing Palayo on the Wish Bus. I remember reacting to this music video whack when it first came out. Um, I don't know that I've listened to the song in abundance since then, but I remember just finding his voice, just as always, just alluring and hypnotic. And yeah, I'm interested to see it live. So let, let's dive on in. Red hair can just does it. He does it for me. Oh. Mm. Come on, bass. One oh seven five. Did I come to play with you? I used to know all the school. Oh, the street in on God. Oh, if there's a problem, girl, that's so seductive. Mm. Please continue with this bass. Mm. Why have I not been listening to this song more? Mm. I love him with just this peekaboo shoulder and just the, the, the nipple coming through the sparkly tank top. Guy, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Come on with this bass. Ooh, let me go to that beautiful mellifluous vocal. Come on, baby. Sing, baby. You better run all over the end of the song. Fry. Uh, 
ko ka nga mawala ko gibali wala ko tanang kasakit Ooh, the, the, the head voice, come on. Come on. Sing the damn song, baby. Sing the damn song. Oh. Oh, love, love, love. Why, why have I not been listening to this song more since it for like? Because I know I've only reacted to a couple of his solo tracks. I want to say this was probably one of the first ones that I did. Um, but yeah, like, I just, I, I don't remember. Like, I remember enjoying the song, but I don't remember, like, feeling this way about it. Maybe I did. Maybe I got to go roll back my reaction and see. But I don't know why I've not been listening to the song more. Um, but I'm hopping over on iTunes right now and hoping that it is available. Palayo. Palayo. No. I mean, there's a podcast, which is great, but that's not what I'm looking... Oh, did I misspell the name? No, that's... I spell it... Uh, why, why are you not on iTunes? Why are you not on iTunes? Well, this just makes me very, very sad, then. Um... Okay, well, I guess I will just have to find it elsewhere and add it to my... Wait... No, that's not it. All right, well, I'll just have to find it elsewhere and add it to my iTunes library then, because, yes, oh my God. Maybe that's why I haven't been listening to the song, because I probably went searching for it on iTunes and it wasn't there. Um, but yes, oh my God. <sighs> like, one thing I will say about his voice, I'm, and I'm probably going to say a lot of things, um, but if you've watched my reactions to... BTS, specifically V. Um, there's only been a handful of them, but every time I react to him, I say the same thing where just the tone of his voice is so rich and beautiful. And most of the songs I've reacted to him like solely haven't been like big, super vocal showcase kind of songs. They've been very slow, mid-tempo, easy kind of vibes, but his voice is so beautiful that he doesn't have to do much. He doesn't have to give you these giant belts or all these riffs and runs and whatnot. Just the tone of his voice is so beautiful that it can just carry the song and he can just do very simple things and it can just be a vibe in a group. That's very much what this was for me. Like Ken, F Philippe, Philip, um, whichever name you want to go by, um, his voice like, especially in his lower register, once he gets into that really nice, deep, rich bass area, and it's just all down here, and it's just, oh. And then he starts throwing in some of that vocal fry, and just, oh, God. It's just magically delicious. It is delicious. It is rich. It is dark. It is chocolatey. It is mm, delicious, delicious tone to his voice down there. And everything he does just feels so effortless for him he's just and there are a lot of people who you know if they don't naturally have that bassy tendency to their voice it sounds when they try to go down there it sounds like they're you know reaching it's like oh. but like it just he goes down there it just feels so effortless and just so mm, god his voice is just so beautiful and then there are a couple points there where he would flip up into his head voice and he'd give you these nice riffs and runs like again it wasn't a super belty song or super like vocal showcasey song it was a very low key seductive dark kind of vibe and i'm here for it that, that i'm i'm all about it give me the seduction please baby yes seduce me it doesn't take very much just open your mouth i'm like okay here i'm yours um but yes yeah, just he 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 doesn't have to do much in order to captivate like his just his aura his presence just 
him, just him existing is captivating enough. So I love um, how I, this is really the first time I can think of, and maybe there have been other instances, but this is the first one that really comes to mind, like where I've watched a Wish Bros performance and they weren't sitting down. Like there were no chairs anywhere to be found. He's just standing there and he's just like, he's in a recording studio and he's just vibing. Um, I love the, you know, the peekaboo shoulder. I've said it so many times. He kind of gives me that sort of like, bad boy of the boy band kind of vibe um, where he gets a little bit more experimental with his fashion choices and it's very much a sort of I don't care what you guys think about these fashion choices I'm wearing this because I like it I feel good in it I feel sexy in it I feel whatever I feel in it like it, it, I've probably said in earlier reactions way back when like he reminds me kind of like AJ from the Backstreet Boys where it's like you have all these um, other members who are a little bit more clean cut you know a little bit more by the numbers by the books and then you had this one that was kind of like the wild child wearing the cowboy hats and all the different animal prints and the leather and this that the other that's very much the vibe Ken oops sorry that's very much the vibe Ken kind of gives me when it comes to like the band as a cohesive although the more the longer they've been together the more each of their individual styles have kind of evolved and they've kind of broken out of this sort of formulaic boy band we're gonna all wear matching this that the other like they still have that to a certain extent sometimes but like their personal styles have really evolved over the last couple of years but ken has always just felt like that sort of symbol of personal style in the band where it's like yeah right now i'm wearing this mesh glitter tank top with this black puffer jacket, one shoulder, nipple just all out here. I got my black fingernail polish. I got my cherry red hair, which looks gorgeous with this skin tone, FYI. Oh my God. And just like, yeah, I'm a vibe. I got my chains on. I'm like, yeah, I don't care if you like what I'm wearing. I feel good in what I'm wearing. And he looks good, but like, love, 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 love his fashion choices. Always have. Um, but yeah, his voice is just hypnotic, seductive, and just magically delicious. And there's just an ease and effortless nature about it when he performs, when he sings that. And yeah, even those parts towards the end where like, yeah, the energy was building up, the vocal energy was building up and he was getting a little bit more intense with some of like the more spoken word raps type of stuff. And he's, you know, getting a little bit more intense. But even at that point, like it's still, there's... It didn't feel like he was like pushing, pushing. And then when it came back to singing, he just kind of fell back in and it just felt easy and effortless. And it's just love, 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 love. If you've been with me long enough, nine times out of 10 when it comes to like the boy bands and all that kind of stuff, or just singers in general singing collectively, I tend to like gravitate towards the lower end of the spectrum, the people on that bass baritone sort of spectrum. Um, every once in a while, like obviously, Stella is my bias in the band. I love everyone in the band, but Stella's my bias. Um, that's kind of a outlier to that. More, like I said, more times than not, I tend to gravitate towards those bassy kind of voices, but there's just something special about Stell that just <laughs> always pulls me to him. But yeah, I'm, I'm always drawn to just that baritone bass representation. So he's just, mm, he's so damn good. Oh God, love this man. Love, 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 love. Anyway, I could fangirl all day, but I've, I've, I've got other things I need to do, so I'm going to stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications if you're notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you.